Hey, what's up, guys? It's Elite Phoenix here, and today it's gonna be kind of a different video, but it is going to be on Overwatch, which I love. And I just want to test out all the characters. This is probably gonna be um, a couple episodes, like one or two or three episodes, parts of this, and. I guess we're just gonna practice on everything. So all these bots over there. Um, so let's start with Genji. I'm pretty sure. Wait, just wait for a second. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna review Genji, McCree, Pharah, Reaper, Soldier 76, Zama, and Tracer. And then I'm gonna, and then that's gonna be one video. And then I'm gonna record another part for these, another part for these, and another part for these. So I'm gonna have four episodes of this, which I think is gonna be awesome. So let's start off with Genji, and we're also gonna do all their ults, and we're also gonna do all their like little abilities. So first of all, is a swing. That's what it does. That little swing attack, and then I have to practice the second one down there. But you, when you press on ps4 r2 he does three little like ninja stars to the like straight but when you press l2 on the ps4 he does them spread out like that it takes longer since they're spread out and more like they're not concentrated like this one this one is like just multiply um so that's that and then that and then here's where I'm going to show you the second little ability where he can deflect um he can deflect little like any any type of bullets I'm pretty sure. And that's that's like his two like special or like little abilities. Um he can also double jump and he can also climb walls. I don't no, he can't wall run off. He can't wall run, um, so we did that. We're gonna do his alt next. Um, so he can't, he can double jump and he can climb and he can dash and stuff. And then this is his alt. His alt is when he, he pulls out like a special sword and then you just keep slashing. It does more damage, a lot more damage. So, that's Genji. Let's move on to the next character. Now McCree. McCree is a pretty simple dude. He only has a couple of things. So, let me go on to these people. See, now that little thing is called a roll. It's where he just does a front flip or back flip or whatever. So, if you press R2 on the PS4 once, he shoots once. And then you can just keep doing that. And then you can just hold it and he'll keep doing it, but it'll be like single fire. Oh wait, let me show you that properly. So you just press L1 and he does that front flip. But if you press L2, you need to be close range for this. He'll just full auto just press it down multiple times. It's faster than just doing this. Now this is the thing with him. This is like what people use a strat. So this thing, this his little special ability. Press this, it kind of paralyzes him for like, a, or stuns him for a couple, like one second. So that's what people do. They, they, ro look, this is a strat. They roll in, they put this, and then they full auto. Let me just show that again. So they pretty much, that's their strat for him, because that's, he's, it's really good. So you roll into them to get close range, do that, and then full auto. And that brings me to his ult. His ult is very cool. You can lock on to people and then all shoot them in the head. Now, it's not going to be like an automatic kill if they have like armor and shields and stuff, but it's a really good ult for like if you're if you're not too good with aiming from far away, um, it's good for that. So let's move on to the second character. And also, you cannot roll in midair, so that's the thing. Now, fair. Fair has a lot of things, honestly. Oh, she has a couple of things. So, fair. What she does, she's more of a like Overwatch. Oh, matches the title. So, 
this is her special ability or little abilities so if you press l1 she can jump really like boost up really high and what you saw right there is her like i don't know what it's called it's to hover that's what and then you could just hold the x you can hold x this is what i like to do i like to go up and then hold x and but there's like a little like bar for it you gotta let it reload it's really good but that's for her flying stuff and now if you press r1 she'll shoot this little see that can save you if you fall you can just do that if you have it that little thing she just threw it bounces people back which is really good if you're doing the payload where they're on it and they're like oh hey and go like that if you're too close it'll also do to you um her next thing is her actual um her actual weapon um if you press l2 it just shoots a rocket that's pretty much it nothing special um and her ult let me try to get her ult real quick so Get her old. And the, I'm pretty sure the little thing that bounces people back, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do any damage. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage. Maybe a little bit if you're close, I guess. Okay, here's her ult. Her ult is really cool. Let me just wait for these people. So what she does... She goes up into, she like, just keeps repeating, yeah. You can also do it in the sky, which is really helpful if you're trying to take, like, do repeat things. So that's Pharaoh. Okay, now moving on to Reaper. Now Reaper is a very cool dude. This is, this is his thing. So first of all, he has a double bear shotgun, which is pretty neat pretty cool and so when you press L R T R2 you'll just shoot every time you press one you shoot one of the shotguns so it's just and you can hold it for full auto I guess and then his little abilities are this it makes you immune but you can't attack or anything but you can move very quickly now this is the second one where he can actually teleport which is actually really cool so you just aim and then press all of R2. To see if I'm being shot, I can just go like this and I'm not I'm not gonna be attacked. Now his ult is honestly if if you're in a little bunch and there's people around, too many people around you. Oh yeah this. When you kill a person, these little things pop up and they can restore his health. Those little sort of things. So let me just try to get this ult. Okay. His ult is really cool. Let me wait for these people. So his ult, he's, he's 360 and just shoots his his shotguns really fast. So that's that's pretty much Reaper. <laughs> that's Reaper. Not a soldier 76, like the most basic person in that I really, really hate. So first of all, I should have done it. You, if you press L1, you just sprint, which is really cool. If you press R1, he drops on healing, which can be used for you and your teammates. Now, L2. L2 is one of the most overpowered things. It just shoots, like, little, like, rockets. It's called helix rockets. It just shoots three little rockets. Let me show it one more time. That's it. Okay, and so then his ult... His ult is, all right, and I forgot to show you the weapon. His weapon is just a full auto um, assault rifle, which is pretty, in my opinion, I don't use this guy too much because he's more of a, like, he's more of a basic but overpowered player. Like, a lot of people use him because he's so good, and all you have to do is hold down the trigger and press R1 when you're really low. That's all you gotta do. And sprint when needed to, and that's pretty much it. Let me get his ult. So his ult is, when he just, it's pretty much like, um, pretty much almost like, um, McCree's. Where it, he just auto-aims. It's pretty much aimbot. 
It's aimbot, pretty much. It's aimbot. Oh, nothing else to say about that. All right, moving on. Sombra, which is honestly my favorite character. I'm just gonna show it off from here. Um, L1, she can go invisible, and that little bar shows you how long you can be. It's very quick, but you can move around very quickly. Um, this her next ability is when you press R1. She throws a little beacon. And it doesn't matter how far you are, you press R1 again, and it teleports you there. And there's this little circle around. I think it gives you around 15 seconds to go for it. But, yeah, 15 seconds. And if that time runs out, you can't go to the beacon anymore. So it's like, it's like you either teleport back or you don't. And it's pretty much a waste if you don't. But, you see, let's see what happens when... Mm -mm. Just, it just disappears. And her next thing is hacking. Like, this is what she pulls up. She can't shoot or anything, but when she hacks, I'm pretty sure it takes away their abilities just for for a bit. I think for I think they're ult only. I'm I'm not really sure. I've I've never been like hacked. I don't know why, but I think it takes away their ult or either their ult or their little special abilities or both. So that's that. And also, when she, when you're invisible, if they shoot you, you'll be, you know, you'll be freaking um, exposed. But when you the the thing she's good also for is healing. So when you press when you hack a healing thing, it goes quicker, and enemies cannot take it, which is pretty dope. But it has a time limit on the skull. When that reaches all the way down here, it's pretty much done. Now her special ability is really cool. It's pretty much an EMP. So it's like they don't have their ability. Like if that was a McCree, he can't throw his little... He can't do his ult if he has his ult. He can't roll and he can't throw his little paralyzer. So that's Zombra. Oh, I can't I can't do that. <laughs> like Reaper could, he just teleported. Now our last one for this little part is Tracer. Um, One of my favorite ones before Zombra came out. Now her ability is when you press... L1, she like moves forward, and she only has three like little bursts of movement, and that's um, that's pretty good for like going back. Now, leading to the next one, when you press R1, you go back in time to your last like known position, and the cool part about that is that if you had full health, like say I, say I tell say I'm right here, I go over here, I get attacked. See, I'm losing health. I'm at 118. If I go back, you get... Well, that was your last known position. But you get your health back that you were before. Which is honestly pretty freaking dope if you're trying to get away. So let me just try to get her ult. Her ult is, like, very disappointing. I feel like they could have done a better job than just this little ult that she has. But, I mean, they should have been more creative in my opinion. But... Her little thing, let me wait for these two to come. You can also back up and go to side. So this one is just a pulse bomb and explodes them, pretty much. So that's gonna be the end. Oh yeah, you can also do that. If you fly off the edge, you can just come back. So that's gonna be the end for this part of like showing off all the characters. Um, it's been like Phoenix, um, Shadow Switcher, Grandma, and goodbye.